Now you will know this if you live in one. Townhouses can be very narrow and some only have windows at the front. See the tricks Brian Gluckstein used to overcome these challenges in a model home he designed. What I want to show you today is this luxurious townhouse. It's called Pears on the Avenue in Yorkville. And what I want to show you is how we've opened it up and made this townhouse really luxurious. Here we are in the living room and dining room and we have one big space. Now we unified it with this carpet and that unifies the living room and the dining room. In the living room we have the sofa with the chairs and the coffee table and a great piece of art. In the dining room, instead of a typical table and chairs, we use the banquette. And that really adds a lot of seating and really softens up the space. We did two chairs on this side and then the marble dining table. And the marble is the same marble we used in the foyer. Now we mirrored this whole corner, but we did it in paneling to break it up with the bevels and that adds a lot of sparkle. And that really reflects the other spaces and especially the windows at the front of the house. And we use a contemporary light fixture with the modern crystal. Now open to the living room dining room is the kitchen and we kept it in this monochromatic scheme but we changed a lot of materials. So the upper cabinet is back painted glass with a metal trim and then we did a lacquer in the same color and this beautiful flooring that goes through the entire house and it's this sort of Norwegian Northern European grey which wears very well and adds a lightness. Now one of the things we did throughout the house that you notice is we've mixed metals and I like to do that. These light fixtures are in the milk glass with brass but it works fine with the chrome and the stainless steel of the kitchen. Now this whole area is open to the foyer but instead of a wall we did this beautiful screen in an antique brass and it has glass also so it stops any drafts. And that is between the living room, dining room, kitchen and the foyer. Now because when you're in the living room you look into the foyer we didn't want typical closet doors. So I did these built-ins and painted them like the wall so it looks more like furniture. So it's very unifying and a really luxurious name. Now off the living room, dining room we have the powder room and I like powder rooms to be dramatic. So we chose a dark color. We have this dark silk grass cloth. It's almost like a charcoal-y brown. And then instead of a hanging mirror, I use a wood molding and went all the way up to the ceiling and all the way to the floor and we did huge mirror panels. We did a picture light instead of a typical light and that just shines the light down. To add to the darkness, we used the marble countertop from the foyer and on the floor and then floated the vanity so it didn't seem heavy and we did it in matte lacquer. And that really adds a sense of drama to the space. Now also drama is the staircase. Instead of a wood railing, we did an iron railing and the staircase winds around. And because this is such a big wall, I decided to mirror it and that really adds a sense of spaciousness. So you see how the use of mirror really adds a really great quality and opens up all the spaces.